The Bible says in Psalms 113 verse 3, From the rising of the sun to its going down, the Lord's name is to be praised. Praise to our Heavenly Father is what we offer in recognition and appreciation of His sovereignty and excellent being. Praise is different from thanksgiving. Thanksgiving illustrates our attitude toward what the Lord has done in our lives while praising God for who He is. Psalms 18 verse 3 reminds us that we call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Only then shall we be saved from our enemies. We were formed to declare praise to Yahweh. Isaiah says it so well in chapter 43 verse 21. This people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. Hebrews 13 verse 15 also explains our mandate. Therefore, by him, Jesus, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Awesomely, a prayer of praise is an excellent weapon for spiritual warfare. The devil cannot stand where God is being praised. Therefore, as God's children, we can praise him through our lifestyle, actions, and words. One of the easiest ways to give him praise is through prayer, purely talking to him. Possibly, you have experienced people saying to you, that was wonderful, or good job. These words uplift us and make us feel loved and appreciated. Likewise, God delights in receiving our praises. No wonder Psalm 149 verses 3 to 4 says, Let them praise his name with the dance. Let them sing praises to him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Psalm 150 verse 2 commands us to praise God for his mighty acts and to praise him according to his excellent greatness. And now, let us pray. Almighty God, I praise you. I worship and adore your name. There is no one like you, King of Kings. You are awesome in all ways. Deuteronomy 10 verse 21 reminds me that you are my praise and my God, who has done for me these great and awesome things that I have witnessed with my eyes. Therefore, I bow surrender in your presence to honor you for who you are and what you have done in my life. Father, I praise you for loving me. I am eternally grateful for this endless love. 1 John 3 verse 1 reminds me of the amazing love you have for me. Behold what manner of love that you have bestowed on me, that I qualify to be called your child. I praise you because of the great love that you loved me. Even when I was dead in trespasses, you made me alive with Christ. Your love for me, God, is so overwhelming that my mind cannot fathom. So in awe of you, Lord, I offer a sacrifice of praise. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. You do not love me because of how much I pray or how much I give, for I am fully persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 I praise you, Lord, for your goodness upon my life. Father, your word says, Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, 
which you have prepared for those who trust in you in the presence of the sons of men. Psalms 31, verse 19. O God, your goodness knows no limits or bounds. As your child, I know you to be a good father. Your goodness is more significant than I can explain, imagine, or fathom. You have enclosed me in your goodness, and still you keep on releasing more and more of it to me. I am in awe of your goodness. Therefore, I graciously praise you for it and humbly accept it. I ascribe you, Lord, all the glory due to your name and worship you in the beauty of your holiness. O Father, your works cause me to see your glorious beauty amid your holiness. Your nature is exceptionally holy. For 1 Samuel 2 verse 2 says, No one is holy like the Lord, for there is none besides you, nor is there any rock like our God. Truthfully, there is no one like you, God. You are complete, faultless and flawless. Jehovah Adonai, I praise you for what you have done in my life and others. I praise you for all the times you have always provided, delivered, protected and healed me, even when I did not deserve it. I praise you for salvation's gift that even when we were dead to sin, Christ died for us. I praise you for your favor that surrounds me as in a shield. I praise you that you daily load me with the benefits of salvation. God, I am so grateful for your word, which is life and health to my soul. Thank you for making yourself known to me through your word. I purposely always hide your word in my heart because your goodness and faithfulness displayed in your word confirm that it will always be well with me. I praise you, Father, because every scripture is written for my learning. Help me not to be a hearer, but also a doer of your word. Thank you, because of your word, I comprehend all the promises, blessings, and inheritance that I have received through Christ. Loving Father, I praise you for all that you have created. As I look around me, I am amazed at the majesty and greatness of everything that you have made. Nature around me utters your greatness. The streams, lakes, mountains, trees, and the vast expanse of the sky display the divine design. You have given me such fantastic beauty in the fields, the flowers, and the rainbow colors. Words can hardly express the beauty and magnificence of everything you have created. O oh Lord my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. May I show honor and love to you by caring for everything you have created. For all you have done, Lord, I praise you. I decree Psalm 111 verses 1 to 10. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, studied by all who have pleasure in them. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given food to those who fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has declared to his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are verity and justice. All his precepts are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever 
Holy and awesome is His name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do His commandments. His praise endures forever. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen.